For me, it starts with, with setting goals and really identifying what your priorities are when it comes to being more efficient with your time, being more driven towards your goals. It's very easy to be a, a victim of other people's demands on your time and other people's prioritization. And then really identifying the types of bad habits, good habits that can affect the momentum of that and continue building with that over time. Uh, that, that for me is the big shift, is just rethinking your relationship with time mm -hmm. versus just struggling with maintaining your, your workflow. The way I, I used to be bad about time management, I, I struggled probably five or six years ago really with, with achieving the things I wanted to achieve, feeling overwhelmed with the different demands on my time. And I went through a little bit of a reboot and it starts with developing a little bit of a time culture. If you mm -hmm. try to make these types of changes that I recommend in a vacuum and you don't pull other people into that conversation, you're swimming upstream and it's very difficult to make those changes. Mm -hmm. And so you start retraining the people around you a little bit to help you make those changes, to help you move towards that transformation. And as soon as you do that, it becomes more visible. It becomes more of a, more of a team effort to make those changes.